Hello everyone. So I am Sankal, and in this video, we'll be talking about the internship experience for the company Sabre. And today we have Srini with us, and he has cracked a full-time offer at this company, and he'll be sharing all his experiences with us. So we'll start with a brief introduction. So Srini, can you introduce yourself? I'm Srini Ketan. I'm from VIT Bellur, and I'm I'm pursuing my BTech fourth year now uh, and CSE Bioinformatics. Okay. And how was your college life? If I talk about the first year, second year, like till currently. Yeah, like the first year till third year, I think uh, gradually the pressure will be increasing due to the courses which we take, and also like we'll be getting into one side. Like we are, we'll be getting into one side, a specialized area. and will be taking more more of that courses yeah that's it about the college okay and if i talk about any previous internships or experiences that you had so can you share something on this yeah i have an internship uh, two month summer internship at thomson writers uh, and over there i worked on uh, devops like it's on continuous integration and deployment using jenkins and ansible okay and any projects that you have worked on or that you would like to share yeah like there are many projects like we, uh, for every course will be having a project so there are many project and the recent project is uh, i have done it for an nlp sentimental analysis of restaurant review systems okay and for projects i think uh, you can better uh, go on kaggle to get some good topics okay and now if we start with the process for this company so like totally how many students had applied for this company and how many were selected okay like only 400 to 500 were shortlisted like it's the cgpa criteria was 9 above so only 400 to 500 i guess were uh, shortlisted for the online test and finally there were eight eight people who were selected from vet okay and if i talk about the role of cgpa like just you mentioned that 9 plus only was selected so how it did, like yeah. how important it is in the selection process yeah like here uh, it is 9 above most most of the companies they'll keep uh, 8.5 above so it's better to keep 8 8.5 above cgpa so okay. that you can be selected in more and more companies and of course 9 above is you know of obviously like, you can be selected for almost all the companies okay and now if we move with the coding rounds that we have so how was your coding round like the number of questions or patterns and the timing for the round and the difficulty of questions uh we had 40 mcqs with negative marking and two coding questions and mcqs were from dbms os networking those all and coding was one or, one was based on the string manipulation and one was on uh, finding the highest prime, prime factor of a number i guess yeah highest prime factor of a number and i think optimal solution will give you like all test cases pass okay okay so that was for coding round now if we move with the interviews so like how many interviews you had and can you discuss all the interviews yeah we have three rounds of interview first one is the technical second one is the managerial and third one is the hr so and technical was for one and a half to two hours the first uh, half an hour to 50 minutes was uh, the interview asked about the two coding questions which i did and how i can optimize even more and the, about the time complexities of the codes and any other logics for the similar code and after that there were few technical questions on data structures like graph about graphs and trees and also yeah, he asked me like which which subject i was interested in more dbms or os and i told dbms and there were some questions on dbms and he asked me a dynamic programming coding question uh, he told me to solve it yeah and coming to the managerial round they focused more on my resume and asked only like 
only from the resume the projects the internships everything and finally the hr round was like the general hr round there are some basic general hr questions okay so like totally you had three rounds and yeah. now if we talk about the interviews like currently all the interviews are done virtually so what was your thoughts yeah. about this and what are some of the pros and cons that you have felt for this virtual interviews uh pros are like uh, we can uh, sit and write we uh, if if we have our placements in our college like we should go go over there and go to each sjt and come back to hostel that is uh, uh, that is a bit problem here we can sit and write so we can attend many uh, companies like without being stressed out much and cons like only wifi i think wifi is the only problem okay so like this was the pros and cons for virtual interviews and one cons that he has mentioned is the internet like issue so you should take care for yeah. that when giving any virtual interviews okay so now if we talk about the strategies that you had followed for the preparation so what all you can share in this okay like i started my coding 2 uh, to 3 months ago like in summer i started my coding before that i was like generally what uh, how the how, with the courses i'm following about like in coding uh, coding i think only the soft skills in third year will be having coding so i was only doing that uh, especially for this companies i uh, i did for two months uh, competitive coding and the platforms which i suggest are uh, uh, geeks for geeks lead code and hacker rank i think if you solve it like uh, you, if you go specifically to some problems that would be a better rather than doing random problems okay okay so now if we talk about peer coding or like group study that we can do in the colleges so what are some of the benefits or demerits that we can have by this i think i had uh, like i did peer coding so like it helped me a lot which one uh, like we can share the solutions like if i didn't understand any question or any solution the other member if he solves it he he could explain me and vice versa that's the main advantage and i think the learning becomes more easier and also you you get more time uh, we can spend more time as like everyone are solving so we think we should also solve so that's one thing okay and now if we talk about the clubs and clubs and chapters that like most of the colleges have so what are the like use or what are the helps that we get from these clubs and chapters and what all things we should keep in like mind when joining any club or chapter yeah clubs and chapters they uh, all they give a leverage basically so during the any situations in the hr or manager or any situational based questions they ask an example so we can uh, definitely we some or the other time we could be facing those problems in some club uh, chapters or clubs so those will be useful and also it generally gives a leverage over others who do, uh, don't have any like clubs or chapter okay okay and if we talk about the colleges so like what all things we can do in colleges to be more productive and so that it can be helpful in our selection process more productive i think basically focus on your english if your communication skills are not that good and regarding this competitive coding start uh, start competitive coding at least uh, by the end of third year and utilize your uh, third year uh, after third year summer utilize that productively and mainly concentrate on this core subjects dbms os dsa like most of the interview technical rounds are from there there only okay and if we talk about the resume and projects or the work experience that we have in the process like that we have in our profile so what are, what is the importance of these things and how we can improve these things like resume coming to the resume like you add on more internships projects work experience those will be like having more weightage and also this clubs and chapters and also your skills 
those all will be tested uh, during the managerial round like each each and everything which you write in the resume should be like you should know it that that would be better and it would give you more additional advantage like in the managerial round basically and that's it. okay and like if we want to give any final tips for the juniors who are watching this video currently so what all you will be sharing to them uh practice uh, coding like practice coding from lead code hacker rank or geeks for geeks any of this like all this will be useful and be selective well uh, choosing the coding questions take some suggestions from uh, seniors like what topics should we prepare like generally they ask on data structures dynamic programming so graphs those all will be useful okay so like this was all about the discussion that we had today and i hope you find this useful and if you find this useful you should like the video and subscribe the channel and we'll see you in another video so till then goodbye